We're into the second part of this program. Welcome back to the news and more news now on Africa. Sudan's government and Darfur's most powerful rebel group have signed a framework deal in Qatar's capital Doha. In this, both sides have committed to working towards ending their conflict, but they failed to agree on a hoped-for ceasefire after more than a week of talks. Yang Weihan has that. The deal between the Sudanese government and the Justice and Equality Movement includes measures to aid and protect refugees in Darfur and a commitment by the two sides to continue negotiations in Doha. It has laid the groundwork for a second round of talks that will address court problems in the six-year conflict. The negotiations will take place in two weeks. The deal also sets down a three-month deadline for the completion of those talks. Issues related to the exchange of prisoners had been a sticking point during the talks as the rebels insisted on having all prisoners released, while the government preferred to resolve the issue as part of a framework peace agreement. The agreement says the two sides will work toward a ceasefire and the exchange of prisoners after working out a timeline for doing so with the help of international mediators. We are confident that the international community will continue their efforts to complete the journey to peace and support the participation of all other armed factions in order to complete this peace process. We are also hopeful recent efforts will complement the previous peace accords and achieve a comprehensive peace for the people of Sudan. As a sign of goodwill, the rebel leader say his group would move ahead with the release of some government soldiers it has captured. The talks were the first between the Sudanese government and the Darfur rebels in more than a year after comprehensive peace talks broke down in late 2007. Yang Han, CCTV.